up on a center punch mark. When I come down on this center punch mark, see how the bit moves? If you're somewhere close to it, it will move into the center punch mark, and you'll be able to see when you're actually straight on instead of there where I'm off by looking at it not bending. You won't get that opportunity with a bigger bit. <clears throat> so if you really need to pick up on a center punch accurately, start out with the smallest bit you can. And that way you can watch the bending of the bit to get it on the center punch. Now, picking up on the center punch is not necessarily the best thing for positioning hole. You know, obviously, if we're in a machine tool and uh, we can have the spindle in an accurate location. We can put a center drill in here or a sharp, short drill bit that is rigid. Then it will cut. It won't be following a, a center punched mark. It will cut where the spindle is. If the spindle is rigid, everything's in a location, it will cut. Now, if you're on an extreme angle, of course, and you come in with a drill bit, that's a different story. Now, it's still going to try and cut off. At that point, what you want to do to get a straight down location with a drill here is you'd come in on a milling machine and you would mill with a larger bit. Don't go with the same size bit as what you want the hole, but you would mill a bit with a bigger bit so that you have a straight on position in the middle of it. Then come back with your center drill and drill and if it had deflected a little bit in that end mill while you were clearing out the pocket your center drill and drill will still come back and go where they should be because you're on a relatively flat surface then. Now, another. Okay, now another thing, 5 8 inch drill bit, we're not going on a center punch mark, we're not going to center drill it, but what we can do to kind of cheat the situation where it will still work, is we turn the speed up way high, like you would have for a little bit, and then you just dance a little bit. Right on that point. It's not right, but you can get it to where it will pick it up. Now I can still see that it's still going to one side, so what I need to do is be patient enough to dance with it until it's not deflecting before I turn down the speed and go for a regular drill. If, uh, not something that you do all the time, but uh, there are occasions when you want to do that. That drill bit was a little bit browned off center. But um, you want to do that because you want to get down past a feature here. So you've got a drill bit that's too long for its strength. And you can't get in there with a center drill because your center drill would also be 8 inches long or something. So you can come in with kind of a wonky setup. If you need to get it perfect though, what you will do is you come back here and you put a stabilizer around the outside of the drill bit if you're doing this in, on a production basis which brings to mind another thing which I wanted to bring up with the idea of uh, <laughs> getting your drill bit pulled started and none of these things that I say are exhaustive if I forgot something I forgot it just like I was saying about lots of ways that uh, try and give the guys as many different ways when I throw out something I'm just throwing out something there's, there doesn't mean it's the only way by any means to do it. So what we have, wherever we have them, bushings. It's not spelled very well, but bushings. What we have here, we have drill bushings. You can buy these drill bushings. Uh, there's different styles of them, but I like these ones here. These are ultra hard already. Uh, they're somewhere around Rockwell 60C. And they will, they're made for guiding your drill bit. They'll be standard sizes on the outside so that you can do a careful uh, center drill, drill, ream if it's close enough. If not, you might need to bore it and then ream it to get location. And you put these in. Um, had a job many years ago that came in. We had, the job was presented, it was these base plates. And they had a three quarter inch, seven eighths I think it was seven eighths inch hole seven eighths inch hole and it needed to be moved there were four of them in these base plates they needed to move the hole a half a diameter off so the normal way you think about doing that is you, you're going to put it in a milling machine you're going to come down and you're going to come in with an end mill to fix these half of a hole 
What we did was we made, well, first off, the, the big thing we did that was the best on this, everybody in town had bid this job. I was the only one that happened to think ahead enough to ask them, how many of these do you need done? So all of the other shops were bidding it as they were going to do one on a milling machine with an end mill. They had over 1,700 of these to do. So we set it up with, we had three or four fixtures we'd made. We had set screws that came in to put the, the fixtures. We used air ratchets to throw those on. We were at a time when our shop rate was $53 an hour. We were making $350 an hour by drilling these things by using drill bushings. Now, we didn't have time. I bought drill bushings for here because I just like having them around for stuff. We didn't have time to get the drill bushings that we need, needed. So again, we made them all. This was all an emergency job. They had to have it yesterday. We made our own drill bushings also. I'd rather buy them if I have a chance. These are like $12 a piece here. I'm not, I'm not gonna make one of these for 12 bucks. And the big ones like we used years ago, um, at this time, I think those are like 45 a piece. And we had quite a bit more time than that even back then, uh, building them. So I, I wouldn't do that. Another thing with these here, it's one of those many times, and I was trying to get some guys to let me bid a job recently. The job was for a rather complex layout with a whole bunch of holes, but the holes only needed to really be within 15 thousandths of an inch of location. They were like, oh, it has to be done on a CNC. They wouldn't even let me bid it because I wasn't gonna do it on a CNC mill. I've got a CNC mill, but it's not worth it for me to program it, make a fixture, and set up for having this thing come in and go, nee, 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 drill, drill, drill. No, what I was gonna do was make a fixture that went on the welded structure that they needed these precision holes in, and we were just gonna run and throw them with a hand drill. It would have been so quick, so easy. The shipping alone that they spent to send these outside of Fairbanks so that they didn't have to rely on somebody that was gonna use manual machines cost them more than what I was gonna give them, charge them. But they wouldn't even let me bid it because I wasn't gonna do it on a CNC. Anyway, drill bushings, a real time saver.